Hey guys, so we are testing our oil cooler today and we're doing it with real data, uh, not just colors on the screen. And we've got a number of different temperature channels that we're monitoring. So it's not just the battery, it's not just the oil. We're monitoring the whole system and we're trying to start with all of these temperatures the same. So we're going up with the oil cooler now. We're gonna run for a good 15 or 20 minutes. Then we're gonna drive back to the supercharger, and then back again with the oil cooler removed. And we're gonna try and keep everything starting temperatures exactly the same. So here we go. Let's see if we can uh, put some laps in without, uh, without being too inconsistent. <laughs> Party box is just giving you a little bit. It's kind of fun. Now my job is going to be to not melt the brakes because we don't have our big boy brakes on the car right now. So we're going to kind of be easy on the brakes and just put a lot of heat into the power train. That's going to be the work right here. Big puddle. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's slippery, that puddle. Woo! <laughs> All right, they're gonna yell at us. These tires make a lot of noise, so yep. we, gotta be, we gotta be a little bit careful. We can't ruin our test by sliding around too much. Another puddle? No, no puddle here. All right, guys, I might get car sick, so I'm gonna stop filming for a minute. Okay, you recording, Jess? Yep. Okay, guys, I want you to understand that we're on the, uh, right now we're on the, Michelin Eco tires, okay? We're on the MX, whatever they're called, four or something. And they're quite good, I kind of like them. Everyone hates these tires, but they're kind of fun to slide around and have a good time. You know, just give a little, give a little this and that now and then, you know? What were we watching at the supercharger before this? Well, we were watching Chris Harris drives, and he was kind of floating Ferraris around, so we're not in a Ferrari, but we're, we're still having a good time here with our <laughs> Drive Model 3. <laughs> Technically, we're testing and this is work, but it sure doesn't feel like it. Doesn't it doesn't feel like work, no. Oh, well, we might have a blown up car here. What's all that white smoke though? Yeah. Uh, Let's stay offline here. Yeah, he's pulling off, so we're gonna be careful here. Look for oil. Uh, let's see. So our battery temperature is just getting close to 40 now. And we're not, uh, we haven't had any kind of power reductions yet. We've been full throttle on every straightaway. the other pages here. Coolant temperature and powertrain temperature is good. 35, 37 degrees Celsius. And we should also say we've got regen on full as well. All right, give us the rundown here. You give us the rundown, Jess. I'm you're dying. Like, you're like dead, man. I feel like uh, Max on the ring in that video. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. Well, I like... think we did pretty good, but we won't know until we pull the oil cooler off exactly. But we did a good seven or eight laps, I think, before power reduction happened. And then we got a, one or two small power reductions that, went, that came, then the power came back. And then after about 12 minutes, we were into full-time power reduction. And it's worth pointing out, this is with a rear wheel drive, right? So the rear drive unit is doing a lot more work because you're not spreading that acceleration over two motors. So it's just going slower in the straight line and spending more time on the straightaway. Whereas a faster car, at least, that's less time for the motor to be at full power. Um, so if you were to compare the percentage of time spent on the track in a straightaway at full throttle or in corners, it would be a much higher percentage with a lower power uh, single drive unit car, obviously. So now we're gonna pull this oil cooler off. We had a little bit of fun sliding around. And uh, we'll drive back supercharger come back, hopefully all the temperatures will normalize to the same, otherwise we'll blow some fans on the vehicle to kind of get everything where it should be. And uh, yeah, Jesse hopefully doesn't throw up. God, we're doing another lap. Another cool down lap, Jess. Look at this overdramatic guy. I'm not being overdramatic, man. I can't feel my arms and legs. Look at the tires we're on. 
Eco tires. And it did this to this guy. Now he's got to remove the oil cooler that's 80 degrees Celsius. At least I get to lie down. So we're just here, we've pulled in and the uh, car's still a bit warmer than our first session. So we're watching here, we're making sure the louvers are fully open, that the water pumps are running. We've put a carpet dryer fan on the radiator so we can bring those coolant temperatures down, which will in turn bring down the battery and bring down the, um, the drive unit. Since we don't have track mode, we're kind of fighting that since with track mode you can just, you know, turn on track mode and then it will super cool the, the battery and the drive units to prepare for your session. Since we've got a rear wheel drive car, we can't do that. Um, so we're just sitting here patiently waiting and we'll go back out and see how we do. We water your Tesla so it grows up big and strong. This is with no oil cooler, so we're trying to give it a fair test here, okay? Blast it. All right, so the water with the hose did the trick. We had to turn the air conditioning on to open the louvers because they were staying shut, but we got it. Uh, so you can actually see now we've got uh, the battery is at 37. Before the first session, we were at 35. So we're gonna let that cool for a little bit more. Uh, we've got the oil temperatures at 45 before it was 32. That's something that's just not gonna be able to be pulled down as much because simply there's no way to cool the oil but the oil at least is cooling the stator. The stator is down to 40, and on the last session it was 35. So before the oil cooler was acting to cool the stator, now there's nothing really cooling the oil as fast, so it's gonna stay a bit hotter, and that was pretty accurate with how it would be, we suspect, with a dual motor performance as well, even with track mode. What else do we have here? That's about it, the battery water temperature was 28, we're at 31.5. Powertrain water temperature was 33, we're at 35. So basically two degrees Celsius more to come down and we'll be hitting the track. Okay, so we're trying to do 29s. I'm gonna do my best to not get sick. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> what? <laughs> you do know how to drift. My phone is on my pedal. Don't worry, it's my phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, All right, you. catch us up. Okay, well, this Camaro just passed us, which is unfortunate, but I mean, it is kind of on a pretty meaty tire and got just about 50% more power than we do. So we're kind of, we're at six minutes in now, and we've kind of gotten to the limit of the, um, we're already seeing power reductions here, and we've got temperature warnings already for the battery and the temperature. So, yeah, we'll just play with this Camaro a bit as he's stuck in traffic. This is awesome. It's fun. I mean, we're just playing around. They don't know that we're on eco tires. 
What Civic? Come, Come on, on, man. You know this ours. Come on, dude. Are you kidding me right now? You said no. You think that I just came up behind you by accident? Like we were here, buddy. Difference look a lot smaller now. Mm, the best thing would have been to 